change is a social innovation hub based at UBC that we'd like to address the world's pressing problems through dialogue, workshops, panel discussions, case competitions, and online media. That is our way of bringing people together. Because when we talk about sustainability, we're talking about partly our relationship to the land. And indigenous peoples are very fundamental to this. So we should always be aware of the land that we're on and the indigenous peoples that live on it. As I said, it's a platform for helping businesses to tackle environmental and social challenges. In 2011, when we became the owners of the Greenest City Action Plan Green Economy Goals, we did some background baseline research and asked businesses like, what do you need? What do you need? If you're gonna be the greenest city in the world, you really need the private sector on board. And we wanted to hear from the private sector how they were going to help us get there as a city. Claudia Lee engaged Chinese Canadian young people on sustainability by founding Shark Truth in 2009. And Shark Truth encourages individuals and businesses to move away from the tradition of serving shark fin soup. They've stopped 80,000 bowls of shark fin soup from being served. With fin-free weddings, couples become advocates for sharks and sustainable practices in their celebrations, broaching this topic not just in their own couplehood, but also with their parents and community. And the Hua Foundation that's here today is continuing this work with us today. So we got talking and he loves Greenest City Action Plan. He actually rides a bike now. Um, but <laughs> the cool thing is on any given day, we have over 150 different city, VC um, projects, sorry, Vancouver Economic Mission and other projects. But these blue dots represent the projects that people like Dagmar, people like you, different businesses are doing because of that investment that they have in the Greenest City Action Plan. We're attracting foreign investment that's really excited by the activity that's happening in Vancouver's economy around sustainable community building. I think that at different points in your life you're prepared and desire different things and that all shapes who you are. But I think you need to be able to find those areas of respite and the ways to be able to find yourself. A shared goal, whether that be Montessori or um, there's a school called Charles Dickens that has this particular learning style and all the kids and the teachers work together on it. They are off the charts better than schools where each classroom has a different philosophy. Letting youth have more access to grants to implement their ideas and their projects rather than just connecting and talking about them. It grow infinitely as they were it was. Cultural sustainability means in general. Teaching the children from, from very early age. Stay tuned for future events and we hope to see you soon. Thank you.